WMTW News 8 Sherney Williams is live there to tell us now what people are saying. Sherney. And Steve, the public comment period just ended, and now the city council is discussing this ordinance. They were listening to public comments for the last two hours, more than two hours, actually. And uh, shoppers, business owners, and environmentalists came forward in hopes of influencing the city council. And let's get to a video from that meeting. The five cent fee would apply to grocery stores and convenience stores, all businesses where food is more than 2% of sales. Businesses would keep the profits raised from the fee. Those in favor of the fee say it will reduce. Use litter and encourage people to bring reusable bags. They also say other cities have enforced the ban and shoppers have adjusted. But one man said the fee would force him to shop in other cities. While some business owners say they'd prefer an outright ban on all paper bags because this fee would only disproportionately hurt the food industry. Still, others argue that paper bags should be allowed because they are biodegradable. Here are some more comments. I'm not paying for it. Because I've got a bag. I'm proud to say it's made in Maine. A lot of people say, I reuse these bags, I need these bags. Food safety is paramount in the grocery business, and our members use polystyrene because it works. We want Portland to become even more beautiful than it currently is, so we will encourage people to think ahead and be prepared when they go shopping or buy coffee. Now, the council is also considering at this hour a complete ban on styrofoam containers, which they say would also help to protect, protect the environment. Now, both the bag fee and the ban on styrofoam would take effect next year. Live in Portland, Sherney Williams, WMTW, News 8.